All right, next up, of course, we have the biggie, best picture. And this, my friends, is going to be something. The 10 pictures. What, yeah, you know this. When was last year again? 1943. 1943. And Casablanca won. That's right. And then, so it's been well over, close, close to 70 years now. So here we go. To 10. I'm, again, I'm mixed on this. 44. 43, 44, somewhere. Like yeah, well, either way, it's been over 65 yeah, years yeah. now. So this is something. I, I, I had a mixed bag about this. There are some pros and cons about it, but... We can discuss that forever, but let's just get right to it, to the, to the movies themselves. And i got to say, um, for the ten, five of them made my ten best of the year. So, uh, you know, i got to say, I'm, 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 I'm a little shocked, to be honest with you. I'm um, shocked about a few of them. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. I, was, I wasn't expecting some of them. And then when I saw all of them, then I was like, why the heck is this nominated? <laughs> I, I, did, I did recommend, I recommended... Um, all of them, and I did, not all of them made my 10 best, but some of them didn't even come close, so. But alright, here we go with the, the 10 nominees for Best Picture. Avatar, District 9, The Hurt Locker, The Blind Side, A Serious Man, An Education, Inglorious Bastards, Precious, Up, and Up in the Air. Here's the biggie. Envelope, please. <laughs> Ah, the Hurt Locker. The Hurt Locker, yes. Again, when the board season started, up in the air, I was all gung-ho. Up in the air, up in the air, up in the air. It's gonna win, it's gonna win, it's gonna win. And then again, I saw the Hurt Locker. And I just... And this was actually a really tough category for me because I was kind of debating back and forth. I'm like, well, up in the air is still really good. But <laughs> the thing that, that drew me in about the Hurt Locker was again how it surprised me. And we've gone over this a million times, I'm not gonna say it again. But yeah, how it's, you know, it sets out to be this war film and then it ends up having a huge dramatic life to it. Mm -hmm. And that's why it surprised me and I think it's the best film out of all of these. Alright. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> up in the air. I think we're I think we're on the same page yeah. here. I was torn yeah. between the two films. Uh, yeah. they were up in the air was number two, her luck was number three on my yeah. ten best list. Yeah. So I won't I will be fine if either I know up in the yeah. air probably won't win, but I'll be fine if either of those movies were, were to take on the big Brian. I know everybody's talking Avatar. I uh, Go on, say it, just say it. <laughs> I know what you're about to say. I didn't like Avatar. Okay, okay, fair I enough. Won't, I won't go away. The send all AP letters to her. I think uh, I think if I had my way, <laughs> Avatar would win for visual effects and it editing all and all of no the technical it. stuff. But it didn't get nominated for screenplay, and it didn't get nominated for any acting awards. No, it really didn't. So it's not going to win Best Picture. I'm sorry. It's not. It's a pretty good indication that when a film is not nominated for screenplay, that it's not going to win Best Picture. The screenplay is the heart and soul of a film. If it's, the screenplay is Absolutely. not solid, it doesn't matter how many special effects and flying lizards you have in your film, it's not going to work. And I really think that like the whole world is just confused because there's lots of pretty things on screen. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can hate me all you want, but that's the truth of it. Avatar is not going to win Best Picture, and if it does, then I'll eat this piece of paper. But seriously, The Hurt Locker, <laughs> the Hurt Locker <laughs> up in the air, and Glorious Bastards and Precious have a better chance of winning wow. than Avatar. Now again, the people... One of those four films will win. People refer back to Titanic, but people forget Titanic was up for two acting awards for Kate Winslet and uh, yes. Gloria Stewart, and he, were out, people were out crying of Leonardo DiCaprio's snub. So, really... And deserved snub. <laughs> Maybe well, when I was ten I wouldn't have said that, but now that I know what good acting is... Yeah, we're going to be arguing about that after we end. Uh, <laughs> but uh, either way, though, um, I'll, I'll agree with you on Avatar. I, I enjoyed it as an entertainer. Uh, as, you know, I did make my ten best. It's an entertaining film. I wouldn't mind even seeing it again. But, uh, that's what makes <laughs> but Up in sure. the Air had a storyline. Is a story. I almost, I, I hate to say it, but I want like it's like almost like a modern. I don't want to say Shakespearean, but just in a way, it's it's kind of that tale. It was fun. Yeah, it, it's. I was I was on the edge of my seat. It, it has its own tragic aspects in it too. It also has its lighthearted moments. Yeah. It's funny, outright funny moments. Exactly. And it's outright dramatic moments too. You know, it's 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 real. That's what real it's life real is. It's real life. Hello. It, it's real Avatar life. Avatar does not exist. I'm sorry. Exactly. It's real life. I couldn't high, relate to it. Exactly. It's hard a movie to relate to. And up near you can. It's um, it's real life in a high society world, in an outrageous world, but yeah, it's realistic. Because, again, we don't know that world very well, but if I did, I would picture it being something like that film. Yeah. And that's what I it love about it. It still brought it down to life. It still brought it 
like uh, up in the air we're talking about right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> it still had a realist, realism aspect to it. I can relate to Anna Kendrick. I mean, not because I'm not in the way that, like, I'm um, corporate, you know, trying to get into the business, but I can relate to her struggles. I can relate to her being a young female in a business world. I can relate to her is, yeah. being in relationships and not knowing what to do with it. I can relate to, to that, you know, aspect. I was, I was with her on this journey that she was going through. I wasn't with what's-his-face in that movie. Yeah, it's like, it's like it's a heartfelt story in a jungle world. It's like you know, they, it's like they're taking George Clooney's character, like a, I guess you say a tiger out of the or a lion out of Africa, and putting mm -hmm. him in a in a zoo. And they, you know, he's not familiar with his environment now that yeah. he's been, now all of a sudden been been put in. And, exactly. Yeah. And that's, that's the way this movie translated to me. And I think that's it's why I would want it to win Best Picture. Yeah. But I would not be disappointed with the Hurt Locker winning at all. Oh yeah, for sure. And if I've been the air one, I wouldn't be disappointed either. Exactly. Just, I will be disappointed if Avatar wins. I will be. I will sit there and I'll be like, oh, crap. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then I will listen to George, what's his face, James Cameron, do a speech, and then I will go to bed. Oops, sorry. Exactly. Just thinking about James Cameron's speech, yeah. <laughs> you better not go out there and say I'm the king of Pandora. Make your, make your narcolepsy, people. <laughs> that might be the one good thing to do. <laughs> oh well. <laughs>